thrilled to be here tonight um, and to be amongst fellow Veronica Mars fans because we are awesome. <laughs> Keith, 
after all these years. Black shirt. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Um, you know, 
I spent the better part of a year, more than a year, trying to convince Warner Brothers to do this, and I, and I kept uh, sort of being a cheerleader for, it's going to be great, we're going to get all this publicity, we're going to raise money, people are going to buy into it, being the first one uh, to get to do this, the first big movie or big issue movie to come out of the gate, kind of do this, is going to get the lion's share of attention. And so I was, I was so confident about it until the night before. <laughs> and uh, the night before, uh, Kristen and I had agreed to tweet, uh, you know, drop a hint that maybe something big was happening. And because Kristen has a million followers on Twitter, I thought this is going to set the internet on fire. Like, it will, it will, people will be so crazy wondering what we're doing. And then we did these tweets in 94. And yeah, some people, people retweeted and it got a tiny bit of attention, but suddenly I was terrified <laughs> that I had spent all this time and it was just going to be a huge embarrassment. So right before we hit launch, uh, after a year of being the most optimistic person, I suddenly had this terror that, oh my god, if we could fall flat on our face. And then when it started rolling in, it was just unbelievable. It was surreal. I had a documentary crew surrounding me uh, during that. And it was like an incredible, incredible rush, uh, sort of unlike anything outside of the birth of my children, I mean. <laughs> What about you, Kristen? I was simultaneously experiencing the birth of my child <laughs> for the this beautiful Kickstarter campaign. So it was um, a high that I don't even know how to describe. When we uh, launched, I, I think I was the last one to wake up of the group because I was very, very pregnant. I had my feet up and I just opened my computer. I was like, oh, you need Kickstarter. And I just checked out and I opened it and I was like, boing. And I couldn't be, we were already up to like 500,000 by the time I, or no, 100,000 by the time I looked at it. And I, um, like Rob, felt pretty confident be, uh, that we would make our goal because I haven't had uh, an interview in the past seven years that did not end with the journalist saying, and do you think that we'll ever get a Veronica Mars movie? And um, so I felt like there was a lot of love for it, but um, I was not at all prepared for uh, the amount of support that we received. That was like, I don't know, even know how to articulate how happy it made. <laughs> I remember, like, when, when you first launched it and thinking it was going to take all 30 days, you know? I remember, like, texting the most pathetic text to Ross, like, hey, dude, like, 100 bucks! Give me 100 bucks, bro! I think it's very important that, you know, Chris and I, and I have been, you know, hearing from people all these years about Veronica Mars movie, and, and when I had that moment of doubt, it was, what, what if it's the same 20 people talking about it? <laughs> <laughs> it's really like, or somewhere right around our core group, we're just hearing from the same people. I have to say, I probably interviewed you 10 times during over the past seven years, and I think every single time it was just a ruse to ask you about the Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I know you were just winning you get into the movie question. We know it's in there. <laughs> um, anybody else want to share your reaction that day? No. That we can move on? Um, I know. I'm not on Twitter or Facebook or anything. Um, oh, very unmacking. I know. People <laughs> <laughs> really, really talk about it. Like, you play Mac and you're an idiot with technology. It's crazy. Um, so I was, I, was on, I was working, and I had this friend who, from the moment that I met him, he, all he wanted to know was about <laughs> Veronica Mars. Like, every conversation, like, yeah, you know, they did this. So wait, so tell me, like, why didn't it end again? Like, um, so he actually told me about, um, I had obviously heard from Rob, and I was, I was really excited. I didn't really know how all of it was going to work. But I didn't even have to look anything up, because this dude, every five minutes, he would take like, yo, you guys are up to like 500 grand, bro. And I was like, this is, this is crazy. It was an exciting thing. And like, sharing it with a friend who is also a gigantic fan of the show made the experience even better for me because I was getting to simultaneously see like my excitement that I was going to get to come back and do this again and then 
seeing a real fan, like how people were really feeling about it, you know, and that was just one person, so it was really exciting for me. I feel like, like if you had stopped by my house unexpectedly, you could have probably caught me in socks and boxes with a piece of beef jerky standing out there. <laughs> 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 I didn't do that day, yeah, that's what I was doing, and my father was out there every 10, 15 minutes, he's probably the most excited person about him and my brother. Uh, they, 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 they <laughs> uh, let's, I'd love to talk about the movie and, and ask all of you, did, did you imagine where your character might be? And, and how did that compare to what the reality was in the script? Did anybody guess, like, spot on where their character was? I love and, it. Is yeah. anybody really surprised? Can I please answer without revealing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you need a bathroom break? No. <laughs>
something I can't say that I get, like I didn't guess where she was going to be. Um, I'm really happy that Rob let me keep my haircut. Thanks, Rob. <laughs> no brainer. No choice. <laughs>
how long can we delay this? Because that's the direction we're heading. And yeah, we just felt it in the room and made it a course of direction. Kristen, can you talk about that? Uh, well, I certainly, from the pilot or the first few episodes, didn't see it coming at all. And I, um, it was as much of a surprise to me. But I always knew that, I mean, I love working with Jason, and he's, he's such a great actor to work opposite. But sometimes I feel like it's really just, it's weird luck. There's like somehow people get magic dust sprinkled on them, and you don't know why you look like you have boatloads of chemistry with someone else. But like, what's weird is like, I mean, I, I love Jason, but Jason's married in real life, I'm married in real life, and it's not that we don't love each other, but when I watch the show, I see it as well. Like, we're on fire. <laughs> Something from 
of sad when the show ended. ended. Are we getting any Keith and Logan scenes in the movie? 
Um, <laughs> they, they cross hats. Uh, we'll take it. Right. Take it. Right. They don't make love. They Bloodshed epic. If you could resurrect one dead character, which one would, which one would it be and why? Oh, I know who it is. Okay, you, you, you all, no, you all, tell, tell me which character is you. With Lily. I want to be with you. Lily? Lily. Yeah, yeah that's that's Lily. Lily. Lily would, yes, I would like to have Amanda Seyfried in, in our show. <laughs> that would be amazing. She is pretty amazing. Beaver. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do one more from Facebook. Joey Robinson asks, for each actor, what is your ultimate favorite line ever from the series? The one that you still find yourself saying. Ah, uh, Tom, this is a whore. <laughs> I loved him! And you guys know what to do with it. Oh my god, nobody knew what to do with it. I was talking about Felix, because I love that scene where, where he died. I can't believe I said that. I love that scene. So now you guys go back and watch that scene. I love that. Rob, I love that scene. No, right. But I didn't mean like, like we love the secret boyfriend all the time. Chris is married. He's married. Yeah, I thought, oh, 
this is going to be a long series. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it was, it's, it's been, been nothing but magic. <laughs> uh, Ryan, did you have a favorite dick line? <laughs> All fours. For real making performance. Favorite word, Logan. I like when I said to you, after all this time, do you not instinctually fear me? I think the line that Ryan had was, this wetsuit's like a cheap hotel, no ballroom. Computer sounds and ding for different things. And, uh, one of them was uh, Logan uh, Jason's delivery of "Never underestimate the size of my cojones." I'm gonna go with that little scene. Yeah. Yeah. So many, like, like that little that we said over and over again. That scene was like our favorite, man. And that's when we became like like homeboys. <laughs> Is that, that the fight, fight night? night? Uh, no, <laughs> this was oh, the real one. This, this was the lead up to the fight night. Wow. Uh, <laughs> you know when you throw books and throw books off? We're in detention, We're in detention and stuff. You know, oh, the detention. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then it also was the, dude, you got me. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and he did this like 80 times in that scene. Was that Diane? Was that Diane? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know she wants some of my good comeback because Rob was, was just having days to tear me up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you have a question for anyone in the cast or Rob, please raise your hand and a microphone will be brought to you. Right there. Yeah, I'm going to have a question for Rob. Yeah. Rob, do you
So my favorite episode of the entire series was the Christmas strip poker episode. <laughs> 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 I was wondering uh, what any of your favorite episodes are. Oh, really good. Um, I I love uh, a trip to the dentist. Uh, uh, second last, written by Diane Ruggiero. Um, at that. One is always one of my favorites. I really loved, um, I, I know it didn't give the most satisfying conclusion in the world, um, but I, I loved where we were going with the bitches back, the final episode we ever did. I, I'm very fond of that. Always inspired, inspired me to say, we need to do a movie. We can't just leave it hanging there. It felt so good. Uh, uh, I felt like we went out well. But you know you tortured us, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it hurts me. So um, just a note on that, you know, the network came to me uh, a few weeks before that and said, you know, there's a, a chance you guys are not going to be back next year, so you might want to think about wrapping things up and uh, really putting everything up in a bow at the end. But we were on the, you know, we were on the, it was on the fence whether we'd be back or not, and I did not want to make it easy to cancel us. I didn't want to write something that completed the story. I, if we were going to go down, I wanted to go down swinging, and so that's, that's what that episode was. Well, so. thanks to that, I mean, I think this movie all happened as well, because true. there was that clamoring, what's going to happen next? Yeah. Um, that was so one, two, three. That was the final one, three. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I sometimes feel like I'm in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next question. Okay, uh, back with the, the one I'm pointing to. Someone's head. Finger. Finger. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to go with the one I'm pointing to. Hi, Crystal. Congratulations on your engagement. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Chris Bell has done a lot of different ones, but I know Weevil did Kazam. I do not know that. And Karina, Karina. So, are you guys doing anything in the future that we can look forward to? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was. It was tough. One of the things we had to get this. Um, uh, movie going is that so many of our cast members have TV shows coming uh, next year, so TV seasons start to kick into gear in the next couple of weeks. So we had to wrap up so people could get to work on their shows. All right, next question. Oh, sorry, anybody else? Is there anything you want to plug? Anyone want to plug? We'll ask you the next one. Great. Let's go over there and look. Hi, um, this is for Kristen and Rico. Um, so I know who, I know y'all know who she ends up with, and I know what 98.9% of us want her to end up with. But I want to know. <laughs> Kristen, as a, as a woman who would buy 
is another woman, I would say, girl, get gone with that Logan kid. He's no good. And look at these other two handsome studs. You can take your pick. Go for it. But Logan, <laughs> and you know, his and Leo don't provide for you know maybe the drama that Veronica craves. Drama <laughs> Thank you, and congratulations. By the way, can we just get like some applause? Like, are there are there any Fizz fans in the audience? <laughs> <laughs> We're all aware that you guys do love it. We're playing the joke. Beat the joke. I'm not playing any jokes. Dude, I learned more about music from listening to Piz talk about music than any other character on the music side. What else can I say? Not much. Uh, next, next question. Can we do it down here in the front? I'm sorry. To me? So this is the Veronica Mars fan event, and clearly Veronica Mars and Veronica Mars fan has, a very, has had a very positive experience in all of our lives. So besides the fact that we basically gave you almost six million dollars for your movie, what, can you share like one of your favorite positive experiences you've had with Veronica Mars fans or fandom? Great question. Yeah. <laughs> 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 We had a lot of backers who paid to be extras in the film. And I remember we were going into shooting this, this day that was like overwhelming, like we had no time to do it, and it was like all these stunts, and it was going to be a huge, crazy day. And they're like, and on top of it, there's going to be all these backers there, and they're going to want to take pictures. And, and I remember thinking this is going to be such a disaster because it's going to be so stressful, and then, you know, everyone's going to be like high tension because there's, and then there's going to be fans there. And, and it actually, I think, made that whole day just so beautiful because. Anytime you get stressed or you know, I'm just being on set or things moving slow or things just can be stressful, you know, look around and be all these people there who are just so happy to be standing in the same room, to be, you know, sweating with all of us. It was just a very humble experience. I mean, you guys really, it's spectacular what you've done for, for all of us. Um, and for the film, and, 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 and I mean, just seeing y'all's spirit is really a, a quite an empowering thing for us. Uh, that was my top that one, assholes. <laughs> Uh, and wouldn't give up for anything. 
I haven't completely ended the game. Most of the stuff that's out there now, it's, it's a business, you know? And, there, and, and it's disheartening sometimes when you feel so personally passionate about a character or a project or something that you're doing, and it's just like you don't really feel like you're getting that feedback. Like, you, you feel such a disconnect from how you're feeling and how, like, the audience is feeling and, you know, why aren't we getting, why don't people get it, you know? Um, so, so I think the overwhelming feeling for me every single day that, that I've been on this set is um, it completely changes the dynamic of the set when it's not just a faceless, a group of faceless suits who are giving you money and they're like, this might be cool. I mean, every single day that I show up on that set, I know that you guys put me there and it makes me my heart break in the best way possible to know that, you know, what we're doing and what's so fun to us, like, you get it. And that that means more than anything else to me is, like, Rob could literally have written me, like, hey, Max in the background, moaning, <laughs> I, I would be I wrote, stoked. I wrote, like, a huge a love letter to Rob. <laughs> and and, and I, I, I had to stop it, and I realized, you know, this isn't the place to do it on Rob's email box. I'm just going to go to Reddit. And immediately afterwards, I did an AMA. And to answer your question, man, um, and I'm not going to get too emotional here, but I'm already. I was already. Right. <laughs> I was in a, in a ironic, just, just the way things lined up in this industry, it's a rat race. And after the show, you know, got canceled, I, like, disappeared. Like, I just couldn't get work, like, we will capital work. I was just doing it. I was just showing up in interrogation rooms and saying, I did it. You guys know how many times you've seen me get shot at every show, you know? And it just was like like, like uh, uh, Tina was saying, you just didn't respond to the material. Nobody gave me a shot. These auditions, you know, they take 30 seconds, but you're putting in years of experience, years of pain. It just got me down. I couldn't differentiate between reality and the auditions I was going on. And then I read it thread. About 150 of you guys came in that channel, man. And uh, you guys just, you just remind me of who I am. And, and I literally just came in. This job was given to us by, by people who support us. Like, it's, it's the most pure expression of love and gratitude. And it, it blows us all the way every day that we go to work. In 2004, when I, when I first got this, this was the biggest thing that ever happened to me in my life. The biggest, large scale thing. And, you know, mom, I'm going to be on network television. From the mall tours, speaking about fans directly, but we're just saying from the mall tours and the kind of love you guys gave. It's been a hard lesson for me to learn, and I still learn uh, at my age right now, is that everybody's not going to like you. So, I uh, stay away from the internet and things like that. Everything you read is not always going to be, uh, you know, to your liking. Everybody's not going to like you. But then, you know, there's you guys. Like, throughout this whole ride from then to now, um, dealing with that kind of thing, it's a good feeling to know that there's always, well, there's 91,000 marshmallows out there. Yeah. It's a real easy to bring you guys on this in the morning, man.
question? Somebody 
you, you know, know that, that every time you bring the game that low with the show, you're going to get laughs. It's going to be energetic. <laughs> and, uh, and I swear that that little riff uh, when you did Pilot Eyes, when you watch it in the show, I thought we'd get maybe one line of that. But then it made the writing staff laugh so much that I think we have like 60 seconds of you singing. Pilot Eyes. Veronica Mars. <laughs> I did. A, I did. A, did you guys? I guess we weren't allowed to show it, but uh, you know, you, you had asked to when, when I uh, made, made the announcement that I was doing a small thing in the, in the movie. He said, "Can you make a video?" And I, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I'll do a video." And then he sent me over some examples. <laughs> and I saw it, and I was like, "Well, I can't." What, what am I supposed, supposed to do? do? <laughs> so I was like, well, I know what I can do. I'll just stay the same character and I'll just sing that song. And I did it and I was so proud of myself. I was like, I sang it. I pulled it up on karaoke and I sang it. And then uh, I sent it to you guys and uh, you could uh, show it because of uh, legal rights. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but that was, uh, that was a, 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 a fun song to do. <laughs> Since we're here down here, I just have a quick question. When's the party down in the coming? We're here to announce. Uh, we're good. We still don't know. Yeah, we, still uh, know. Yeah, we, we yeah. are down the road on that. We hope for it to happen. Uh, there are a lot of schedules and things to figure out what we want it to happen. And we've been paid to write it. It's in progress. Yay! Yeah. So fair, so fair to say we start shooting in a couple of months. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I guess we're going to keep taking questions, yes? No one's telling you otherwise, so. Yeah, we're Mercer. Let's get the Ravens up here. Yeah! Hey, real quick, 
before I, I um, jump, jump into this, into this uh, birthday thing, thing um, Christopher's a buddy of mine here. I just, just want to, just, just a, a, a poll by, by, by clapping. Like, who's, who's better for Veronica, Mercer or Pigs? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mercer? Genuinely grateful. She needs it. <laughs> 